Na mtazamaji je unafahamu kwamba mifupa ya ngombe, mbuzi na hata kondoo inaweza kukusaidia katika kupunguza kiasi cha madini ya fluoride ndani ya maji unayotumia? Hii itakuwa ni habari njema kwa wengi wanaokumbwa na shida hii baada uvumbuzi kuonyesha kuwa mifupa hiyo baada ya kuchomwa ina uwezo wa kufyonza madini hayo na kuyaacha maji bila ya kuwa na wingi wa madini ya fluoride. Mwanahabari Kamchemenza ana maelezo zaidi kwa mifupa ya ngombe, mbuzi na kondoo na tofauti na wale wanaoitupa hapa ina umuhimu tele mifupa hii huboreshwa kwa lengo la kuyapunguza madini ya fluoride ndani ya maji kufikia kiwango kinachohitajika uvumbuzi ambao sihaba umewapatia baadhi ya wakenya biashara iko na faida sana tunapata kilo ya mifupa hapa huuzwa kwa shilingi 12 na kabla ya hatua yoyote ile basi mifupa hii huletwa katika chumba hiki ambapo nalikuwa kuwa kuchomwa kwa zaidi ya siku kumi usiku na mchana chini ya nyuzi zaidi ya nyuzi joto 500 mradi unaofahamika kama boncha uliovumbuliwa na kampuni ya Nakuru Defloridation chini ya ufadhili wa kanisa la katoliki diocese ya Nakuru okay, during the process of burning the fluoride will come out in gaseous form but what remains is the inorganic part of the bone and uh, 70% of uh, uh, the product which remains after burning is calcium and phosphorus and that's what we are interested in Baadaye basi mifupa hiyo husagwa And the reason why we crush the bones is to increase the surface area so that the fluoride can be removed from water na hatimaye mifupa hiyo maarufu boncha huoshwa kwa saa tatu kila siku kwa muda wa mwezi mmoja na kisha kukaushwa na hii basi ndio bidhaa ya mwisho ikiwa tayari kutumika so if you want to defluoridate your water the water only uh, at household level the cheap filter that you can buy is Kenya shillings 3000 Boncha inadaiwa kuwa na uwezo wa kufanya kazi kwa takriban miaka miwili. Hata hivyo wanadai kuwa nguvu zake hutegemea na kiasi cha fluoride ndani ya maji. Na kabla ya kununua bidhaa hii, wavumbuzi wanadai kuwa ni vyema maji unayotumia yapimwe kiasi cha fluoride kilicho ndani. Here in Nakuru contains high levels of fluoride and the highest that we've ever recorded is 40 mg of fluoride and uh, it's very rare to get a borehole which doesn't have fluoride that is above 1.5 Wenyeji wa sehemu mbalimbali humu nchini wamelazimika kutumia maji yaliyo na kiasi kikubwa cha madini ya fluoride. Hawa ni baadhi ya wenyeji eneo la Gilgil ambao wameathirika pakubwa kwa madini ya fluoride kutokana na maji wanaoyatumia. Anybody who, who has uh, who is using a source that is has high levels of fluoride is advised to use these filters because what it does it prevents further damage of your bones. Ni mradi ambao huenda ukawa njia moja wapo ya kukabiliana na athari za madini ya fluoride. Kamchemenza KTN